Chairman of the Puka Para 1917 Association, and in the name of my brother Johan, Robert, and George, and all the civilians of our village, Puka Para, I would like to thank the British nation, their soldiers, and everyone who brought peace to Flanders, Swedes, and Europe at the end and during the dark period 1914-1918. As a child, we played on the British cemeteries in our neighborhood. We saw the shells for the shells farmers found on their fields. We heard the stories of our veterans and our grandparents. When we became adult, we started to ask ourselves questions about that great war. From then on, my brother and I and the Puka Pala 1917 Association started a search of years. And now, together with Sue and her friend, we stand next to the member to the monument where the name of Dudley Neville White is mentioned. I would like to give a special thing to the great for years, who gave the most valuable thing a man possess, his own life. Dear Dudley Neville, with the help of you and your friends and your companions, we do everything we can to remember you and the whole kind of and to let and to let all your names stay alive. Especially we will do this in Pool Capelle, the place you died and you're buried. And when the tank came in two, and where the tank came in two, st stayed at the marketplace between the two worlds. As an expression of our respect, let's keep one minute silence and to go in mind to the muddy fields of Flanders where the poppies did blow and even now they blow and they will do so. And afterwards we will listen to the exhibition. memory of Dudley Neville White, the Kenilworth boy who offered his life for our freedom, we discovered, thanks to Susan Tall, that his last known grave is near the tank of Moulkapelle, Belgium, in which he was killed on October 9, 1917. From the Moulkapelle 1917 Association, 16 April 2010. They shall grow not old as we that are left grown. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. And at the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will remember them. them.